Now, today I am explaining ectocatalysis. It is a special type of catalysis in which one of the product of the reaction itself act as a catalyst for the same reaction. Means we are not using any foreign substance to play the role of catalyst in this reaction. We are not adding any external catalyst to catalyze this reaction or this type of reactions. Whatever the products which are forming, amongst of that, one of the product itself acting as a catalyst for the same reaction, that type of catalysis is called uh, ectocatalysis. Ectocatalysis is a catalysis in which one of the product itself act as a catalysis for the same reaction and uh, the rate of reaction gets accelerated. That type of catalysis is called uh, ectocatalysis. For example, hydrolysis of ester. This is the ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate upon hydrolysis, it gives the CH3COOH, that is the acetic acid, and the ethanol. This is the ethanol. These are the products which are formed during the course of reaction or the in the reaction. Amongst of the product, this acetic acid itself acts as a catalyst for the given reaction. Means begin in the beginning of this type of reactions, the rate of reaction is slow. But as a product which is acting as a catalyst is forming during the course of reaction, the rate, the rate of reaction goes on increasing and it shows the sharp increase in this way. Generally what happens? Whenever A is converting into the B in any chemical reaction, what happens? The concentration of A goes on decreasing as the time passes. Or the rate of reaction R. The rate of reaction of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants. In the beginning, the concentration of reactants is more and hence the rate of reaction is also more. As the time passes, what happens? The concentration of reactants goes on decreasing and due to the decrease of the concentration of the reactants, rate of reaction also decreasing. It is happening in general. But in the ectocatalysis what happens? Initially, the rate of reaction is slow. But as the one of the reactants which is acting as the catalyst is forming during the course of reaction, it starts to play the role of catalyst and the rate of reaction goes on increasing steadily up to the completion of reaction. Means it is exactly reversed to the general reactions in the ectocatalysis. In general reactions what happens? As the time passes, the concentration of a reactant goes on decreasing and the rate of reaction also goes on decreasing. But in this case, the rate of reaction goes on increasing as time passes. And why it is happening so? Because in this reaction, or such type of reaction, one of the product which is formed in the course of reaction that acts as a catalyst and which is accelerating, accelerating or increasing the rate of reaction. And hence, the rate of reaction goes on increasing steadily up to the completion of reaction. And formation of this sigmoid curve, when you are plotting the curve between, plot between, Reaction rate and time, then such sigmoid curve is forming, which indicate that at the initial point, the rate of reaction is slow. As one of the products which is acting as a catalyst is formed, the rate of reaction starts to increase and it goes steadily increasing up to the completion of reaction in this way. Second example of the ectocatalysis, 
is the oxidation of oxalic acid. Whenever we are treating a acidified solution of potassium permanganate, for the oxidation of oxalic acid, then what happens? A magnus sulfate is forming. Then K2SO4 plus H2O plus CO2, these are the products also. Amongst of these all products, this MnSO4, that is the magnus sulfate, itself acts, start to act as a catalyst. And the rate of reaction goes on increasing, being one of the products start to act as a catalyst, play the role of catalysis and the rate of reaction start to <coughs> increase. In the third example, decomposition of arsine. This is the ASH3 arsine. On the decomposition of arsine, free arsenic is forming. This free arsenic itself start to act, play the or play the role of catalyst in this reaction, and the rate of reaction start to increase steadily. Means in the autocatalysis, the rate of reaction is increasing due to the formation of one of the product which is acting as a catalyst. Such type of catalysis is called the autocatalysis, and hence the rate of reaction in the autocatalysis. In the beginning is slow. As the time passes, one of the product which is acting as a catalyst is forming and that will start to act as a catalyst and then the rate of reaction is steadily increasing and it is shown in the diagram. Now I am explaining the another important term or the bit from the catalysis that is the catalytic poisoning. What is meant by catalytic poisoning? That we have to take under consideration first. First of all, try to understand the term catalyst. Catalyst is a substance which alters the rate of reaction alter means either it may be increasing or decreasing that substance is called a catalyst and the whole process is called catalysis under the process of catalyst catalyst is playing an important role due to the effective activity of the catalyst catalysis is going on but there are some substances which destroys the catalytic activity of catalyst that substances are called poison, catalytic poison and the process is called catalytic poisoning. Once again I am repeating, there are some substances which are destroying the activity of or the efficiency of the catalyst that substances are called poison or the catalytic poison and the process is called catalytic poison. So we are studying in detail with the examples. For example, in the oxidation of sulfur dioxide, platinum is acting here as a catalyst. In this case, oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide is taken place in the presence of catalyst platinum. But if there are some impurities of the arsenic oxide, that is AS2O3, then what happens? The activity of platinum, that is the catalyst, destroyed. And that platinum can't act as a catalyst for the certain reaction. And it is happening in the contact process where arsenic oxide acts as a poison for the catalyst platinum. Means arsenic oxide 
is destroying a catalytic activity of the platinum catalyst. And hence the arsenic oxide here playing a role of catalytic poison or the poison or and the process is called a catalytic poisoning. Then the second example, this is the second example, synthesis of ammonia in Haber's process. In this case, ammonia, nitrogen is reacted to the hydrogen and forming the ammonia. <clears throat> in this process, ammonia is manufactured or synthesized or prepared. In this case, iron is used as a catalyst, but if there are some impurities of H2S, hydrogen sulfide, then what happens? This H2S is playing a role of poison for the catalyst iron Fe. Means the catalytic of action of the catalytic action of the catalytic or the catalytic activity of the iron is destroyed by the H2S. H2S is an impurity in the given reaction that impurity destroys the catalytic activity of the catalyst iron. Catalytic activity is destroyed completely. Hence in this case H2S is acting as a poison for catalyst. Then we have to see the oxidation of hydrogen. In the oxidation of hydrogen, platinum is used as a catalyst. And the formation of H2 is taken place. But in this oxidation process, Impurity of cobalt is acting as a poison for the catalyst platinum. Means platinum is poisoned by the cobalt. Uh, carbon monoxide, not cobalt. CO is responsible, carbon monoxide is responsible for the catalytic poison, poisoning of the platinum. Means in this case, Catalyst platinum gets poisoned by carbon monoxide. In this way, in this reaction, CO that is carbon monoxide is acting as a poison. That is the catalytic poison. And the process is called catalytic poison. Then, <clears throat> how it is happening, how it is occurring, how the catalytic poisoning is going on, that we have to see. There are two factors and due to that reasons, or due to that processes, the impurities are acting as a catalytic poison. First, preferential adsorption of poison on catalyst rather than that of the reactants. In the case of heterogeneous catalysis, gaseous reactants gets adsorbed on the catalyst as like the nickel. But whenever there is an impurity of carbon monoxide, then carbon monoxide is preferentially, preferentially gets adsorbed first than that of the another reactants on the surface of the nickel crystal in this way and forming the van der Waals force of uh, attraction of the van der Waals weak bond is formed between nickel and carbon monoxide. There is a adsorption between the carbon monoxide and the nickel crystals. Due to the adsorption, preferential adsorption means this is the adsorption, preferential adsorption, immediate adsorption, selective adsorption rather than that of the adsorption of reactant molecules. If the reactant molecules gets adsorbed on the surface of the nickel, 
then the reaction go faster. But instead of that, nickel is preferentially absorbing on its surface carbon monoxide. And due to that reason, the reaction or catalyst, catalytic activity of the catalyst destroyed. This is one of the reasons why the catalyst is poisoned. Then, this is the example of the poisoning of nickel catalyst by carbon monoxide. Then the second factor which is responsible for the catalytic poisoning that is the catalyst may combine with combine chemically with the impurity. There are some reactions as like the Fe plus H2S forming the FES plus H2. Means in this case iron catalyst is chemically combining with the H2S that is the hydrogen sulphide and forming the iron sulphide plus H2. Means in this case catalyst is forming a chemical bond with the impurities and due to that reason that catalyst can't work efficiently. His catal catalytic activity is poisoned. These are the two reasons, due to that reasons, catalytic poisoning is going on for the catalyst. Here, poisoning of iron catalyst by H2S is due to the chemical bond formation between iron and sulphide. In this way today, I have explained for you what is meant by the catalytic poison. Poison is a substance which destroys the activity of the catalyst. That substance is called a poison or the catalytic poison and the process is called catalytic poisoning. These are the examples oxidation of sulfur, sulfur dioxide. In this case, platinum is acting as a catalyst, but it is poisoned by the arsenic oxide. In the synthesis of ammonia, in Haber's process, iron is used as a catalyst, but it is poisoned by the H2S. In the oxidation of hydrogen, platinum is Platinum catalyst is poisoned by the carbon monoxide. And why it is happening so? Because the catalysts are preferentially absorbing the impurities on its surface, in particular in the heterogeneous catalysis. And due to that reason, catalysts become inactive. Its activity destroyed completely. Second reason, in some chemical reactions, Catalyst is reacting with the impurities and forming a chemical bond between them. And with that reason, the activity of the catalyst destroyed completely. For example, iron catalyst is reacting with H2S and forming the FES. And the iron catalyst is gets poisoned by the H2S in this way. And in this case, H2S is acting as a poison for the Okay, then I will explain further part.